uh, talking about my 1983 Ferrari 308 uh, GTS today. Uh, I've only owned it a month. I've always been a fan of these cars, never had the opportunity to own one before. Found this car and it was actually in Tucson, Arizona. Contacted the owner, talked to him a little bit, and we came to a deal. So I now own this car. It's one of the only cars I've ever bought that was better than I thought it was gonna be. And I was really, really surprised. The more I've driven it and been around it, the more I love this thing. What I think is unusual about it, it's pretty low mileage. It's about 38,000 original miles. Uh, it's silver with what they call a black boxer bottom, which uh, is a pretty rare paint scheme. And I can actually prove that this is the original color because I have all the paperwork back to the original window sticker, which is really cool. One of the biggest things people have asked me about is what is this car like to drive? And that's really my favorite question to answer because it's my first Ferrari. I really didn't know what it was gonna drive like until I've been playing around with it for the past week. I've got a Sunbeam Tiger and a Jaguar E-Type at home, and to compare it to those, it's so radically different. You lay back in the seat as you drive it. Uh, that's the way you can see the instruments in the little binnacle ahead of you. Uh, you look down the hood, and your hands just naturally fall right to that shifter, right to the gate, and it just it accelerates nicely. Everything is weighted very nicely. Uh, it's really a lot of fun to drive, and it's 230. Horsepower is not a lot these days. You don't feel like you're slow, but I wouldn't race a lot of cars out there in this. You hear a lot of really nice exhaust notes as you're going up through the gears. Corners, you can just turn a corner in it. It's absolutely flat, yoink, like a go-kart. It just feels really solid. It's got nice wide tires on it. Uh, suspension is, is nice and tough. This, it's a fantastic handling car. Really, really like it. There are a few cosmetic things. That's really all, all that I want to attend to. Um, for instance, one of the options on the car is this European front spoiler, which is really cool, but it's very susceptible to when you go through gullies, ditches, really any little tiny lip in the road, speed bumps, whatever. Um, it just had new tires put on it. That's something that's really important because these are these are metric TRX wheels, so it takes one kind of tire sold by a specialty manufacturer, and they're pretty expensive, so I'm very glad that they uh, don't need to be replaced. Uh, one of the things, uh, according to some Ferrari experts that have looked at the car this week, that I may want to research a little further is the taillights on the back of the car could very well be opposite from a lot of other 308s of this era that they've seen. Uh, this is an 83, so it's kind of a transition year between the two-valve cars and the later quattro-valve cars. So, for all I know, my car's right. The backup light is indeed supposed to be on the inside on mine versus the outside on some later ones. I don't know. Uh, I'm going to research it and have a little fun with that. One of the things that really drew me to this particular 308 was that the original owner had it in California and then moved it here to Arizona with him when he retired. So, it's got all its original body panels. There's zero rust in it. And that's really important in an 83, which didn't galvanize the panels yet. So I'm, I couldn't be more happy with the condition of it. Uh, it's a real keeper.